know, it, the pitch of it was a sport jet in scale clothing. But let's blast across. Going vertical. Ooh. Let's see how high she can go. Let's see how high she could go. Oh my goodness. Oh, we need a moon up there. Welcome back to Motion RC, and we're having a little fun today with a flight on the L39 Customize. This L39, we probably have the uh, footage. I had an onboard camera. It was the morning of Nephi, maybe about a year and a half ago, uh, the last time we went to Nephi, and I just dumb thumbed it on a landing. I caught the edge of the runway instead of the runway, and it flipped over, had some nicks and tears, and it was just sitting there for a while. I ended up using the power system on something else, who knows? But then I got around to looking at, I love the L39, love it. And once you have a crash airplane, it becomes more of a beater. You care less about it uh, as you fly it around. But the L39 is a great beginner aircraft. Um, it's the Avanti in scale clothing. And uh, always something I love to bring a, a plane with me that I can warm up on before I get to bigger stuff or uh, you know stuff like that. So, uh, in my process of fixing it, I just decided to do a bat version of it because something about the L39, the shape, just uh, gave me an idea of something Batman would have. So I did some manipulations. We got Batman in the cockpit. It is a uh, Christian Bale Batman in a Michael Keaton schemed, uh, you know, Batman. Uh, I got 3D printed cockpit inside. I printed those parts, painted it up silver, and then I made it a single seater, so I just, actually put a like a wall in the back and just covered what was inside and just painted the back part of the canopy to make it more of a single seater. I was thinking of putting Robin in there, but nobody really likes Robin. <laughs> so he did he doesn't need to take a ride on this. And then uh, that was it. The rest is just Rustoleum, some stickers that I found. They're not even perfect colored, but uh, some stickers I found on Amazon and just thought why not? Threw a little paint on the uh, on the tires and uh, overall she's Cool uh, as could be, I dig it as now just my new fun little beater plane, something to warm up on. She flies great. And then lastly, all I did was, all the original electronics were inside. I had just used the motor for something else, but I slapped the new in-runner motor inside. So uh, I say let's take it for a flight and then we'll come right back here because I've already done this flight and this is the end <laughs> of the flight. And we'll uh, show you where my battery was, talk a little more about the L39 and then wrap this video up. So let's take it away with the flying. Pilot Bruce Wayne taxiing out onto the cock, onto the runway. Bruce Wayne in the cockpit is what I meant to say. And Alex, you ready? I'm ready. All right, taking off right, right to left. Up. Let's pour on the cold. I have no gyro in this thing, flying it on an Admiral 4000 with just a standard Admiral 10 channel receiver inside what I had, no satellite or anything. And uh, the L39 is one of those, you know, it, the pitch of it was a sport jet in scale clothing. But let's blast across. Going vertical. Ooh. Let's see how high she can go. Let's see how high she could go. Oh my goodness. She goes for days. Oh, we need a moon up there. Now we're just gliding her past. Now bring the speed back in. There we go. I love it, yellow wingtips. Now the sun's a bit behind a cloud, so of course a black scheme will uh, you know, disappear on you a little more, but I can make out the, uh, the big yellow bat symbol on the, uh, on the tops of the wings. Coming in for a big loop in the middle. Going up, trying to avoid Superman. Ah, oh, the L39, just overall an awesome plane. And with the inrunner, whoo, he's like locked in. I was gonna paint my drop tanks with like Joker and Riddler colors on them. That's what I may do later on. But the yellow spray can was there, the drop tanks were there. That was the last thing I did and we just went for it. Power off. Going right 
right by the camera. Ooh. Flying through the streets of Gotham. We need a cityscape around here. Or we could just pretend this is Wayne Manor. He just flies around his own property because I'm assuming he had a lot of acreage. Coming at the camera. It is. It's an L39. Ooh. I love the L39. It's such an easy jet to fly. It really is. Guys looking for a, you know, if you're, people are recommending the Avanti as a first jet, the L39, if you're not into sports, the L39 could easily be a first jet. Like the T33 too. One of those just nice overall flyer. Drop the gear, drop the flaps, cutting the power. No power, no power. And she will just float in, just like you saw. And I still have eight seconds left on my timer. We are at the end of the runway, perfect. I love the lights too. That also helps with the silhouette and orientation. When you see those two spotlights coming at you, there is no problem. I will taxi her back to myself. And then we'll get out of here. So there you have it guys, that was the flight. I, got, I landed at about five seconds left on my three minute useful throttle timer. So, uh, you know, whatever the timer was in the corner of the video, let you know how long we were flying, but she flew great. She's so much fun to fly. And I still got the battery here. This is where I was. I was about at 15%. You can see I was at 3.7 going across. And again, we were flying her on the Admiral 4060C. Lipo battery, which is perfect for her, but she can definitely take, uh, you know, bigger batteries. Uh, we have videos where we've flown it on 5,000s. I know guys have flown it on 6,000s. Uh, she'll take a good range of batteries. There is a lot of space. If you look down here, Alex, a uh, lot of space in the compartment. So when I stick a 4,000 in there, I'm, I'm getting CG right there, but look at all that room. There's room to work any size battery here. What I do like too about the L39, they, they give you a tray in the back. Very easy to, uh, you have your blue box up front. I mounted the Admiral uh, receiver back here. Normally, uh, in the past, I've always mounted it here and then I've run into issues with my aerials because I'm very anal about where my aerials are. They always gotta be 90 degrees and I don't want them near carbon and the L39 has carbon running along. So if you put a, you know, the aerial close to it, it's just a fear. So what I did is I just dug a stick, a wooden stick inside a bamboo skewer that I used to replace this broken, <laughs> I put bamboo skewers in the, uh, the pitot tube on this. Uh, and then I just taped the aerial going this way and one going back. And uh, that was really beautiful. So I was excited about that. But overall guys, she's a steady bird. Anybody looking for a first EDF jet, um, I know you'll probably be told, get the Avanti, get the Avanti, get the Avanti. The Avanti's fantastic, but the L39 is just as fantastic. And if you don't like, uh, you know, sport, you can get that in the scale. And even the T33 now uh, is just as good as this. But guys, that was awesome. Thank you for joining me. And we'll see you next time at Motion RC. Batman! Yeah.